This Ag Vision program is made possible through the generous support of Syngenta Seeds, NK brand. The results you need, the freedom to choose. And by Farms.com, Ag News, Market Prices, Ag Careers, and Farm Real Estate. You'll find it all at Farms.com. Today we're going to talk about the art of listening. I was counseling with an Aboriginal family and I asked them if they had anything at all that could help them keep track of who had the floor in a conversation. The husband said, I've got the perfect thing. He went over to the wall and took down a talking stick. In their culture, that meant that whoever had the stick had the undivided attention of everyone else in the room. I've used the concept of the talking stick to help teach conversational etiquette to poor listeners who then become wonderful listeners. A talking stick allows the speaker to be able to finish their line of thinking and to get all the way through something before being interrupted. In fact, the only time you want to interrupt someone who's talking is when you feel like you're personally being overloaded. It's very important to learn the discipline of holding on to your own opinions and emotions until you legitimately gain the floor either by asking for it or when it's offered to you. Another key point in listening is to summarize their main points back to them with a caring heart. That is so crucial. It's like music to their ears. Listen for the intent of the message. Don't, go with, uh, don't quarrel with their details or if it isn't quite right or isn't being said the right way. Just go with the flow. Also, watch your body language. It's important that uh, people understand that your tone of voice and your body language match what you say. They'll believe that a lot quicker than what you are saying. If you want to be a good listener, figure out who has the stick in the conversation and then respect that. This is Dr. Val Farmer with Mind Over Matter.